Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are doing a pick a card reading uh, using five decks of tarot cards. And the question we are asking is how does he or she feel about you? And what action is he or she going to take towards you? So take your time and choose one of the five decks here. Deck one, two, three, four and five. You may ask uh, this question for more than one person using more than one deck. So if you've um, chosen, then please go ahead to, your t to the timestamp below. If not, please pause this video at this point and um, make a selection. So I'm going to begin in with the deck number one and the question is how does he or she feel about you and what action are they going to take towards you so this could pertain to love this could pertain to a family member this could pertain to a work situation could pertain to any situation actually I'm doing it in, under the umbrella of love but um, you could actually use this reading to determine your your answer um, in any or one of those situations that I've just mentioned. So for those of you who've chosen this deck, the deck number one, what is it that he feels for you or she feels for you? What action are they going to take towards you? What action are they going to take towards you? Oops, I've got two cards here. Okay, so this is a very nice um, positive reading. It's nice to see such happiness in a card. So I feel that he is really, what I see here through the cards is that this person, he or she, is so happy, is so happy to have met you. I feel for many of those doing this reading, this is a male, although there are a few people who this is a female as well, but most likely a male. This uh, person, as so excited to have met you it's so excited to be with you um they just overjoyed with 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 having met you it's like their wish has been has come true it's they are so so happy about the situation okay the um they feel they need to restrain themselves because they just kind of falling all over themselves so they feel that they need to restrain themselves here they feel like um like uh, they need to hold themselves back. They need to be clear about what they say to you. And I'm uh, just trying to see where you could see this without the glare. Ah, uh, there. Okay. So, yeah, they they really they really feel that they have to be firm with themselves. They have to be rational. They have to try to be balanced around you. They have to be try to be fair, because they're afraid that they will stumble all over themselves. Because this person here is very, very excited about you, okay? So they feel that they need to rein themselves back. They need to hold themselves back a bit. Here, they also feel at the same time, as much as they feel rationally, that they need to restrain themselves, they need to hold themselves, they need to rein themselves back in. The other part of them is full of passion and wants to fly to you and wants to be with you, wants to be passionate with you, wants to make love to you, wants to really just be with you in every possible way that they can be. Okay, so those are the feelings that this person have has, um, he or she, um, that is, 
I might say he very often, but I mean he or she. And uh, it's for those people who have chosen this deck here. Okay, so what action are they going to take towards you? Well, that's a little bit different because they have all these strong, very secure feelings here. And But what they feel, that the action that they would like to take towards you is that of um, just taking a risk. They'd like to take a risk. They'd like to come forth, tell them how they tell you how they feel about you um, if they have not already they'd like to just be reckless and spontaneous and just be free with themselves with regard to you they want to just take that risk you know they don't really care about the consequences at the same time they feel that they a little bit of an outcast they feel a little bit left out in the situation they feel that they they don't have enough um, to give to you or to show you or that they don't deserve you uh, in some way or that you they may you might they may feel like they're too poor to be with you um and this is a hindrance as to the action that he's taking so he's not he's not or she is not taking the action of just coming forth and being honest with their feelings and just kind of uh, moving ahead actually because what they they are hesitant because of the way they feel they feel that they won't, that they will be an outcast they're afraid of the rejection that they may experience at at your hands and um uh, what what action do they ultimately take well they pull themselves together yeah financially or whatever they they feel the the, the strength that they have within themselves and i think that they may um organize a date or something to take you out like a fancy dinner or they may try to impress you with their money they may try to um to show you that they have more money than they actually do they may uh try to show you how much money they have uh not try to they're not trying to lie about it but they do they may try to show you that they have more money than they feel that they do have um but they would not be dishonest with you and what will they ultimately do with you? I feel that they were trying to, to buy you a present or they will try to take you out somewhere. They will definitely try to take you out somewhere and impress you, but then they will try to um, do this on a more consistent basis. They'll try to be of some support for you, um, not necessarily financially, but also in terms of giving advice, in terms of just being there to help you out with things. So this person really wants to be in your life and they really are sincere about it and they are smitten with you. <laughs> they are actually uh, they they just taken it aback by how they feel with regard to you okay so that was your deck number one uh you lucky people uh, this person really um is crazy about you isn't that good news so we're moving on to the deck number two not the most easiest deck to shuffle the star tarot me. I haven't used this deck that often. Um, I see a lot of other YouTubers using this deck and quite pleased with it. And uh, I'm actually not that fun. I'm not that keen on it because I find that there's the, all this extra border space here and I want to just trim that off and make this a smaller deck and a more user-friendly deck in terms of being able to shuffle better. Okay, so the question we're asking is, how does he or she feel about you? And what action is he or she going to take towards you? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put them out. So here's the first card. are they going to take towards you? OK, 
thing. So let's take a look. Okay, so I've gotten all of these cards in reverse. So I'm just going to actually um, read them in the in the unreversed position. Um, all right. So how do they feel about you? I feel that they have an unbridled passion for you. Uh, unbridled because it was actually in the reverse position initially. The Queen of Wands. Help, tends to have a bridled passion. She's able to control her passions. She's able to direct her forces. Whereas this person has an, uh, an unbridled passion for you. They cannot control themselves. They are, they are very passionate about you and they're unable to manage these emotions or keep them under wraps. They're unable to contain them and they're unable to, and it's not like the Nine of Cups in the previous reading where this person is just happy and overjoyed. This person is almost imbalanced as a result of not being able to control their, their, their feelings for you. So it's, it's causing them harm. It's causing them difficulty. It's causing them, they're obsessed with you. That's the feeling I'm getting. They, they're infatuated with you. And they can't come out of this because they've gone so deep into their emotions and their uh, imagination of you that they don't know the difference between what is you and what is the reality anymore. Um, they kind of locked in the space here where they're not able to come out of it at all. Um, they feel like they are they are imprisoned in these emotions, um, and this makes them feel poor. And as an outcast, it makes them feel alone. They feel really alone. Uh, this person's really suffering at their hands of their feelings for you. They really ha are finding it difficult. The only hope I have is that these two cards were in reverse. And that signals that they're coming out of this feeling. That they're coming out of this loneliness. That they're coming out of this, this feeling that they have that um, they can't do anything. That they will be able to... Um, manage their emotions better they will get a hold of themselves so to to answer your the question how does he or she feel about you they are distraught over their feelings for you because they feel rejected they feel outside they feel as an outcast and they feel that there's nothing they can do about it okay what action are they going to take towards you well they're gonna they they are definitely planning on moving towards you but very slowly they have set their sights on being with you and they're going to work towards you. It's just going to take a very long time before they can pluck up the courage, muster up the courage to be able to make um, a move really or to be able to come out forth with their feelings. I feel, however, they are setting their sights on, on a distant future to be with you and expecting that, you, that they will be um, successful with us. They are... The action that they're taking right now is not really anything that is outwardly towards you. It's more inwardly towards you. They may try to correspond with you telepathically. They may try to invade your, your space telepathically. They may send you, you may get uh, feelings. You may suddenly start thinking of them in the middle of the day while you'll be in the middle of something else. And they're trying to infiltrate your thought processes. Uh, they may be trying to do this on a conscious level or unconsciously. And um, it's because of their kind of uh, their lack of power, their disempowered feeling that they have as a result of their inability to control their emotions. These cards were reversed, and and so I feel that here there's this ability, there's this wanting, there's this wanting to actually uh, work towards you, to work towards being with you, to making this thing happen between you two, but uh, and and having this success, um, as in working towards a success and having the success in mind that this is where they walk working towards but not really truly believing in it and as a result of not completely believing in it being uh, forced to to live in their mind and to send you telepathic messages and to communicate with you in this way because they don't actually know how else to communicate with you 
this person feels really shut out of your life. So for those of you who've chosen the deck number two, that is your reading. For those of you who've chosen um, the, deck, the deck number three, the question we're asking is, how does he or she feel about you? How does he or she feel about you? And what action is he or she going to take towards you? How does he or she feel towards you? And what action is he or she going to take towards you? Okay, so. Wow, these cards are also all in the reversed. Um, just checking if they're, they're all in reversed position. It seems to be so. Okay, so they are seem they seem to all, all be in the reverse position. So I'm going to just put them in the right position here. And then we're going to read the cards to that. But we're also going to then um, make a point of... Um, of actually um, acknowledging the, the reversed meaning of these cards. All right, so how does this person feel about you? Well, they feel very happy with you. They feel very fulfilled. They feel as if they have it all with you. They feel settled. They feel... Um, happy in their legacy that they've created. They feel wealth, wealthy in their legacy. They feel they have it all and they, they, there's not much more to ask for. At the same time, having felt that, they feel the need to take a break, to sit back, to relax. They feel a degree of calm as a result of this. It's almost as if achieving this has been such an effort, coming to this point with you has been such an effort that they now just need to take a break and recuperate from it, take a rest from, from all it is that they've been through and, and just savor it, just go inward for a while and not really interact so much. They, they're more inward in their feelings. How, how do they feel about you? Um, at the same time as they are, there's still this passion. So there's a satisfaction that they feel for you and with you. There's this feeling like they've arrived, you know, they have what they wanted to have. Then there's this feeling that they need to take a break and recuperate, but, and that they're tired, and at the same time wanting to run forth. So these are really contradicting feelings that they have here. They really want to ride forth and be with you and, and just, yeah, they, they really have this passion for you, but at the same time, they're feeling like they need to take a rest for themselves to be able to recuperate themselves. What action are they going to take towards you? Well, these are really fantastic cards here. Um, they're going to take the sun action towards you. Now, the sun is, it can be, and some, some people read it as a marriage card. As, but I read it as a card of being together, really happy, really joyful really coming together and enjoying the fruits of life. See, it's not just okay to have this. This is also a kind of coming to completion, having everything that you want on a material level, having created a legacy, having ha had, uh, having maybe having been married, having property, having status, having recognition. Uh, but this is, it's not enough, you know, uh, because what you actually need is to have happiness with that. And this is the card of having this as well as the happiness. And even if you don't have all of this, it's really having this degree of happiness with. And this is the action that this person wants to take towards you. So they want to be able to cultivate this joy and this happiness and this blissful feeling, this sense of love and security that cannot be denied in your relationship or in a relationship with you. And how are they going to go about doing this? They're going to be talk. They're going to be speaking to you. They're going to be putting down the rules, so to say. They're going to be 
telling you exactly in a very clear fashion how they feel and what they want and what they envisage for your relationship. Um, and they granted this card of completely new beginning here. So this is a card almost of an ending. This could also be a card where this person's had this in the past. If I was reading this not as feelings, I would say that this person's been married. They're leaving that relationship. They're taking a break. They're recuperating. And then they're going to run towards you because they've had their eye on you. And they're going to create this bliss and this happiness with you. And it's all going to be all new beginnings here. Happy new beginnings. New beginnings in love. New beginnings in thought. New beginnings in communication. New beginnings in, mater in the material world. New beginnings in, in fertility as well. And, and that if I was just reading it like this, but I'm reading it now as these are the feelings. And, and here are... Are the, are the actions that they're going to take towards you. Well, they're definitely taking the action of new beginnings towards you. They're going to initiate a new beginning. They're going to sustain a new beginning. They have a plan for their new beginning. They have a way, the luck that they need, the, the way forward. They have all that it takes for you to have this new beginning and to bring this happiness and joy into your life. So this is uh, the way he feels. Yeah, perhaps he needs more time to be able to think about all that he wants to create or she wants to create with you. They need to come to terms with themselves about those feelings, but then they will go ahead and, and do this. So that is also a lovely, lovely reading here, um, like your first deck. So thank you very much for those of you who have chosen this pile. And um, yeah, I hope that it pans out really well for you, as the cards say it does. All right, so we're moving on to the deck number four. How does he or she feel about you? How does she, he or she feel about you? Okay. So how does he or she feel about you at the moment? And what is what action is he or she going to take towards you? Wow, you do really have a lot of love in these readings. <laughs> this is amazing. This is such a beautiful reading. Okay, so how does this person feel about you? Well, they are very satisfied with you. They feel as if their wish has been fulfilled. This is like the first reading. They are more than happy about all that they have with you. They're drunk in their love for you. They're drunk in their feelings, in their infatuation, in their longing, in their wanting, in their desire for you. Okay, what else do they feel? They feel as if there's a time of waiting. There's a time of things coming down to settle, of the dust settling, so to say, of things coming down, of this feeling coming down from the sky into um, the world, as it were, and settling into, taking root in the, in the physical world. How else do they feel? They feel that that you can come together and marry each other in a way that will compensate each other's uh, flaws or lack of whatever. It's like you complete each other. It's like you come together to be a part of one. It's like you balance out each other and you are able to give to each other what the other does not have. It's an equal bargaining. It's an equal... It's giving to each other, it's like the yin and the yang, that you fit together in a way that completes each other and that, is, that mirrors each other, that's a part of each other. What action is this person going to take towards you? Well, they are going to come to a point when they finally bring this into fruition. When they finally realize that they are the ones who need to take the action in order to be able to create this um, this consecration 
so to say, that we have here. Because right now you in a space, they in a space where they are, they they feel that this this love, these feelings, this emotions are not grounded, and they're gonna come to the realization that oh, it needs to happen, and this is how I need, need, this is what I need to be able to make it happen. So they're gonna take real steps to make it happen once they make once they come to the realization that they are the ones who need to bring this into effect. And with that is gonna be the completion of the cycle, the cycle of this love that has been created that this this love that has grown within this person the love that has been put out there the love that feels like it's two souls coming together to form one and then the realization that this person has within themselves it feels like it's all within them like they're alone at this moment and then they're going to come forth and bring this to completion they're going to consecrate this love by by, with you you're going to consecrate this love with you and they're going to move forth with conviction with love with the tenderness with the ability to be able to give their love and be loving and be a good lover and to understand your feelings to take time to understand what you need what what your needs are to be able to give you that what you need to be able to sustain this love that has made them drunk but and have a degree of uh conviction yeah there's a stability that comes with this there is a um, a way of knowing where you are what you're doing why you're there and and being committed to that and I, I just feel that this love is going to be brought out into the open it's going to be able to manifest into the world and right now this person just feels like they're in themselves coming to this point where they will be able to take this action to consecrate this love in this in this world and move forward with conviction this is a fantastic reading actually a really wonderful wonderful reading so for those of you who've chosen this uh, deck number four well please do let me know if um if this turns out as it says here i would love to know that Okay, for those of you who've chosen the deck number five, we are asking the question today, how does this person feel about you? How does this person, how does he or she feel about you? And what action is he or she going to take towards you? What action is he or she going to take towards you? Okay, so this is how they feel. This is the action that they're going to take towards you. One more card of clarity. Okay, so here we have a situation where this person is taking, how do they feel right now? Well, they feel very balanced about the emotions. They're not writhing in passion. They're not uh, uncontrolled. They're very controlled. They very much feel the emotions. They may very much feel the heat and the passion, but they are able to control this. They are able to balance the, the attraction and the magnetism with the, the emotional aspect, the, the loving, soppy feelings that they have. So this is the, the feeling here that they have uh, for you. They also feel that this is something that needs time needs work on it's something that needs to be worked on something that needs time to come to fruition something that needs time to manifest feels that like the love is has been there already has been in those highs it's definitely past the stage of infatuation or just attraction it's in the space which is really a mature form of love a form of love which is very balanced and very giving which understands your point of view as well as their point of view there's also this as i said this feeling of 
having to wait for what needs to be having to oh, excuse the sound that's my coffee machine going off so this is so there's this feeling um, that something needs to come to fruition but it's not yet the time they're not ready and there's this feeling that there will be a moment when they know that they will be ready there's a moment that they know will come in the future when they know it will be the right time to come forward to proceed and they're waiting for this moment it's almost as if they're waiting for the moment to be ripe they're waiting for these feelings to mature they feel that this there's more to this feeling than they have already So here, what action are they going to take towards you? Well, I feel like they're definitely going to speak to you and be very firm with you. It's They feel they need to be very firm with you and very clear about what it is that they want. And to be very clear about what it is they expect from you. They need you to understand what it is that they need from you. And they need you to know all of what they feel. It feels as if they need to write it to you. Or they need to put it out there in a way that you can truly understand what it means. I see them building a foundation with you and it takes time. It's something that first they come forth and they talk about what it is they want to do with you. And then they work towards building this foundation with you. They work towards building something with you. And then I see it being built. I see that this the storehouse or this saving of something has been complete. It's almost as if there's something, it's like there's money that needs to be saved in order for you to build a house. Or they come forth and they talk about how they want to build something with you, like a business or um, something like this. And then the money has come forth to be able to do that. And or they come forth and just they say, well, listen, I, I love you and I want to be with you. And I would like to build something with you, like a family. And then the family comes to fruition. Or they say, well, you know, I want to, I think we should move in together and we should pool our resources together. And that's what happens ultimately. So there's this, this very firm action that's been take, that's taken here. It feels like this is an older person. This couple, you and your partner feel like maybe a little bit older or more mature in your decisions and decision making in your life. And it feels like you will make the, the steps towards concrete, um, um, kind of concrete uh, concretization so to say of your relationship but uh, it's it feels to me like you don't really have a say in this like it really depends on when he or she decides that when he or she is ready with that when they feel that they've had this moment when they cannot wait any longer when it's just the right moment and that is when they're going to come forth and actually uh, initiate this conversation and in the meantime, it's almost like a waiting game. There's this big waiting game, which they are comfortable with because it's on their terms. It's their rules. And here, this person is very much about their terms and their rules. And so they are happy with it. And if you are happy with it too, then that works fine. Um, but the question is, are you? Okay, so um, I did pull an extra card here because I want to know where this goes to from here. And I did see that this passion that was at the initial part of the relationship comes back full fold and uh it isn't just all about building and constructing and material things and and, and talking it is about the passion as well there is a, a real sense of liveliness and and heat in this relationship that uh there is a longing and desire and wanting of one another and that comes to bear so that was it for you who've chosen the deck number five uh, which is the last deck. It has this back here, in case you're still wondering. 
And I hope all of this was uh, of help to you and uh, helps you understand your relationship a little bit better, helps you understand your loved one a little bit better. And I do hope that um, your wishes come true in the future. So thank you very much for passing by this channel and for stopping by and watching my videos. And I wish you all very well and blessings abound. Thank you.